everybody, it's Sarah. Um, I'm going to show you a tutorial. Again, I did one before this on how to make your own, um, how to make your own rubber stamp. And where did it go? There it is. How to make your own stamp out of hot glue. And, um, so that tutorial is up right now. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to make your own letter stamps out of foam stickers. So what you're going to need are these foam stickers. They're by Crafter Square. I got them at Dollar Tree today. And they come with four sheets of the alphabet. They come in green, blue, purple, and pink. And then um, I already made mine. They're sitting over there, but you can't see them yet because I'm really excited to show them. But um, I had some extra squares left over from when I made mine, from when I cut them out last night. So I'm going to show you how to make them, and it's super, super simple. Um, for letters like A and um, H and I and M, it's really just as simple. I'm going to use Y for this one because it's closest to me. But just take your sticker off. It's literally as easy as peel it and stick it. Voila. Foam stamp. That's right. That's all that it takes. Now, what I did with mine is I Mod Podged over the top of them. That way the the foam wouldn't get so ruined so fast. Um, and then for letters that aren't as user friendly as others, what's one over here? Um, we'll do R. Here's what I did for these ones. Unfortunately, this is where it, these ones are the only ones that get tricky because if you have the R and you just stick it flat on here, it's going to stamp backwards. So you have to put it on the cardboard backwards, but the top is sticky. So I just take my Aliens Tacky Glue. I'm absolutely obsessed with this product right now. Really, it's all I use. And no, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. Okay, I'm almost out. So work with me for one minute. Oh, I glued the wrong side. You're going to want to glue the foamy side like this. You don't need much because you're going to Mod Podge over the top of this too. That way that sticky isn't there. Put that lid back on. Okay, so you have your now glued up. And then you just take it and stick it down. Now the tricky part is getting your fingers off of... There we go. That one was actually easy. But there you go. Okay, give me back my pencil now. See, this is the problem. That's the only problem I've had with making these. My boyfriend suggested doing something else, like sticking the sticker to a piece of paper or something of that sort, but then it wouldn't have the same consistency as all the other stamps because it wouldn't be stamping foam and be stamping the paper. So I didn't do that. And I dealt with the hardships. And, and there's your sticker. And then when you stamp it, it'll be perfectly stamped. So after they're done, okay, this is what they look like. And there we go. All 26 letters right there. They look grungy in some spots. Um, just pick this one up. And there it is. I mod podged it over the top. And then I stamped them all onto a piece of white computer paper. And I stamped them down. And 
cut them out and glue them, mod podge them to the top of the cardboard. And you want to use two pieces of cardboard. I read this online and it made so much sense. I had two of the same big pieces of cardboard and I glued them together because think of when you're using um, those rubber stamps that don't have a, that aren't wood, they're just like the clingy ones. You have to use an acrylic block with them. So think of it as that you have one piece, just use two to get a more sturdy stamping. But there they all are. And I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you make some more. Thanks. Bye.